everyone, welcome to my channel and I'm going to be using a Christmas kit. I'm so excited. This kit is amazing. It's from Pemberley Prints. I'll leave her link down in the description box. This washi just screams Christmas to me, even though it's really plain. It's like, I don't know, my favourite washi I've used the entire year. So I didn't want to trim any of it off. I didn't want to cover any of it up. <laughs> so I've put it all the way along the top just to cover up the dates that were already in my planner and then I'm using the slightly thinner ones at the bottom and just lining it up with my boxes. So I decided to move the date covers down, that way I'm not covering any of the washi like I said, so it does mean that I'm losing a couple of centimetres in my kind of boxes, the day boxes, but it doesn't really matter. The washi is worth it, okay? So once I've finished doing that then we're going to go in day by day and today amazingly I have a day off of work. I'm so excited. So I've marked that with a piece of thick washi and a half box that I flipped up onto its side. I used one of my little poppets from the feeling sheet and the day off script which is from my work script sticker sheet. That was so awkward to say I have no idea why. And then for today, I'm doing some online Christmas shopping. I want to post some orders out today. So if you've got orders waiting, then they should be dispatched today. Hopefully you'll receive your dispatched emails. I know they've been a little bit hit and miss lately. It wasn't just me, it, it is other shops that I've seen on the Etsy forum. Um, but they've been working at it and hopefully it's all fixed. So hopefully you'll get your dispatched emails today. I also want to design later today and I filled it up with a full box. I also put down an I'm a slope to get me out of here pop it but that's not on anymore because it's finishing tonight. I'm so excited to find out who is going to be king or queen. I really hope it's Harry but anyway moving on to Tuesday. I need to do a food shop online and then I've got like my to-do list which I'm going to fill out later. It's also my nanny's birthday. I believe she's going to be 87 amazing she's like my hero and then underneath that I've just put down two TV programs I'm on my last Teen Mum 2 episode very sad so I need to find a new series that I can binge watch and then I've also got American Horror Story and I also want to drive up to my nan's to wish her happy birthday in person I realised that the um, kit come with date dots, I don't know how I missed that before so I just covered up where I wrote the dates because it looks much nicer when you use the kit's date dots I think. And then for Wednesday I'm actually going up to the city doing some Christmas shopping and then I will put like a to buy section and this little puppet that does not look impressed is just to tell myself to take my goddamn list. The amount of times I write a list, I go to a shop and I do not have the list and I come up with things that aren't even on the list or remotely like what I should have bought. So that poppet is my face every time I get to the city and realise that I have left my list at home. And then down at the bottom for my little things, the children will have to do homework. I want to do an Instagram post and I want to have a good old YouTube binge. I feel like it's been forever since I've done that. Flipping it over to the second part of the week, I'm just putting the date dots along the top. And then for Thursday, I want to start off my day by watching a good old Christmas movie. Maybe something like Elf or... I haven't decided yet, so if you've got any of your favourite Christmas movies that you like to watch, leave them down below. So I just marked that again with some washi and a half box that I flipped on... Ugh flipped up onto its side and then I want to wrap some presents while I'm watching the Christmas movie to get me in the spirit. I put down my half box and realised that I wanted to put something down beforehand which was to design but that full box was not going to come up so I just decided to put it on top. I've also got some laundry to do and some housework. I feel like they're my two staple things. I could literally put them on every single day. I just seem to do them constantly. For Friday, I'm going to mark down here that I've got the day off, although that's now changed and I'm going to be working, unfortunately. But then my camera cut off and I didn't realise, but I just put down my Don't Forget header and I put a half box down with my new release, which are these Poppet Savings. So if you're going to be saving some money next year or that's your goal, these Poppets are definitely for you. They're so cute, they're going to motivate you to save those pennies. For my today section, me and my fiancé are going out. It's his work's Christmas party and we're staying kind of overnight in a hotel which is originally why I wanted to have the day off of work. It's the last thing you want to do when you've been at work all day. However, I have to go into work, so uh, we're just going to be going out afterwards and then staying the night in the hotel. I'm 
I'm just putting my weekend banner down and then as we're in a hotel and I have no children I'm going to sleep in so I've used one of my large poppets from the pyjama sheet and then we want to leave the hotel by about 10 ish if we can because you know we may just sleep in <laughs> in um, but then we need to go and pick the children up from my mum's and dad's house so just match that with the Poppet family and it should only be the boys because my daughter's going off to her dad's for the weekend. So I've just put the family with the two children. So moving on to Sunday, I want to get the Christmas decorations out of the loft. I kind of low-key want to do this on Saturday, but I didn't want to scare my fiance if he looks into my planner and thinks, oh my god, we've got to do that as soon as we get home. So I put it on Sunday, but we're going to be doing it on Saturday. He just doesn't know that yet. And then I've just marked off the whole entire day just for us to put Christmas decorations up and just get in the Christmassy mood. Now my birthday's out of the way, it's full on Christmas in this house and I cannot wait, I'm so excited. For my to-do section, obviously I'm just going to be getting the things ready for school for the children. So I use one of my Poppet bags and the Poppet lunch sticker just to mark that down. I then put down a couple of stickers that were from my advent calendar that kind of went with what I was doing. Um, like this one here is for the Christmas movie as the puppets are watching Christmas movie. So I just put that there and then a couple of other ones where they're just more like deco stickers. And then flipping it over to the other side, I put a full box up at the top and then I just put some of the trackers down and split them up in between with pieces of washi. For my next week's section I used a thick piece of patterned washi and then a header on top and then I just put, put a checklist down. I don't know what is going on with me today, I cannot talk, I'm so sorry. And then again I'm just putting down a few of the advent calendar stickers. And then here's everything that I have got left. I've still got so much left, I could easily do another spread out of this, so I'll definitely be keeping hold of it, although my daughter's now got a little planner and she keeps stealing all of my leftovers. So um, maybe I'll have to just hide these, or I could give them to her, so she could use them in December actually, as they are Christmassy. But that was it for this week's spread. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Whatever else you are up to today, I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!